A rigid tank is divided into two equal parts by a partition. One part of the tank contains 2.5 kilograms of compressed liquid water at 400 kPa and 60 degrees C, while the other part is evacuated. So this is our first state. We have a mass of the water that is 205 kilograms. We have a rigid tank. There is a partition in the middle. So that's half of the half of the tank. And over here we have our water. And the temperature of that water is 60 degrees C. And its pressure is 400 kPa. The partition is now removed and the water expands to fill the entire tank. So going from state 1 to state 2, we remove the partition, uh, partition. So now the water occupies the entire tank. Determine the entropy change of water during this process if the final pressure in the tank is 40 kilopascals. So we are given a P2 of 40 kilopascals. And we are asked to find entropy change, presumably in kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin. And the equation for this is the mass multiplied by the change in entropy. So the first thing we have to do is to check our steam tables. So over here we have temperature of 60. Well, let's write those down. Let's also write down our pressure. Oop. So saturated liquid uh, specific volume is 0 0.001017. And uh, our saturated liquid entropy is 0.8313. Now, this is actually... This is actually the same as S1, so we can assume that this is already given. And we already have our mass as well over here. So we do need to find our S2 next. So for our second state, we are given a, a pressure of 40 kPa. So we can check our saturated water pressure table, which is this one. Now, uh, 40 kPa is over here, so at 40 kPa, uh, KPA, we have a saturated liquid specific volume, BF, of 0 0.001026. Saturated vapor specific volume is 3.9933. And our entropies... For saturated liquid is SF is equal to 1.0261. And for evaporation, we have 6.643. Okay, so now, um, why did we get these values you might be asking well that is because s2 is equal to s1 or rather s f2 plus the steam quality times the evaporation uh, entropy sfg2 so it's not as straightforward as plugging these in we still have to find our steam quality 
and also our evaporation. But mostly it's the same quality we have because we already have SF2, which is right here. SFG2 also over here. Okay. So in order to find our X2, we can use this formula using our specific volume. V2 plus V... Uh, what's this? Uh, sorry, this is minus Vf over Vg minus Vf. Now we already have our Vf over here. Uh, Vg is over here as well. So we just need to find our V2. So to find our V2, we need to look at our diagram. So once we remove the partition... It, the water now occupies uh, twice the volume of our rigid tank, meaning V sub 2 is simply twice our V sub 1. And this returns a value of um, 2.034 times 10 raised to the negative 4 cubic meters per kilogram now we can now we can put that in there and that should return a value of 2.5251 times 10 raised to the negative 4 uh, this is dimensionless because these two cancel out. So that is our x sub 2, which we can now put into this equation here. So solving for this, we return a value of 1.027 bar. Uh, just, that just means the 7 repeats over and over, so this has a unit of kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin. And now we do have our S2, and we can find our change in entropy. So finally, after all that, we arrive at a value of 0 0.4912 kilojoules per Kelvin. And looks like that is our final answer. If this helped you, consider liking, subscribing, and supporting me on Patreon. If you have any requests, you can send them to my email down here. Although, assistance is not promised since I'm only doing this part-time, so... Yeah. Right, that's it. Good luck.